hi everyone you're welcome back to my channel today thank you so much for stopping by in this video we'll be creating this corset top that you can see on your screen so if this sounds like something you're interested in keep on watching and let's get started so i already have my pattern paper on my work table and i'll start by taking my points the first point i'll take is the distance from my shoulder to my bust point which is 10 inches i will indicate that the next point is the distance from my shoulder to my under bust point which is 13 inches the next point is the distance from my shoulder to my waist point which is 16 inches and the last point is the distance from my shoulder to my top length which is 19 inches i'll go ahead and roll a straight line across all these points to get my chest line i'm going to go up by two inches from my bust point so i'm going to place my tape and i'll mark eight inches and then i'll go ahead and roll a straight line across the eight inches mark after doing that, I'll go ahead and label my points. I have my chest line, my bust point, my under bust point, my waistline, and my top length. The next thing I'll do is to take half of my shoulder measurement, which is 8 inches. I'll mark that on my shoulder line. And I'm going to go down by 1 inch on that point for my shoulder slope. I'll also indicate that with a point. After doing that, I'll go ahead and slant from that 1 inch into my neckline area, just like this. On my chest line, I'll mark 8 inches, which is the same measurement I have on my shoulder line. I'll indicate that with a point, and then I'll use my ruler to connect from the shoulder slope to meet the point that I just made on my chest line. After doing that, I'm going to measure the straight line, and I'm going to divide it into two equal halves. So what I have is 7 inches, half of 7 inches is 3.5 inches. I'm going to also indicate the middle point. On that middle point, I'll go inward by half an inch i will indicate that and then i'll use my ruler to connect from the shoulder slope to meet the one inch and i'll connect into the arm or area just like this so guys next thing i'll do is to take my neckline measurement this is not really necessary but i'm doing this so that you guys will not get confused so for the width i'll take three inches and for the depth i'll take three inches and then i'll use my ruler to connect like this after doing that the next thing i'm going to do is to take my bust band measurement which is half of my nipple to nipple measurement mine is four inches so i'm going to take the four inches on my top length on my waistline on my under bust point and then i'll use my ruler to connect the three points together On my bust point, I'm going to place my tape on that 4 inches mark and I'll go down by 1 inch. After doing that, I'm going to extend the straight line that I have to meet the 1 inch mark that I just made. To take in my darts on my waistline, I'm going to take half an inch on the center front and I'll take half an inch on the side front. And then I'll go ahead and take in my darts like this. So I do this all the time on the channel. In case you don't understand what I'm saying, just look at what I'm doing. Before I take in my darts, I'm going to extend the dart line to the base of this pattern paper and then I'll take in my darts. So guys, after taking in my darts, the next thing I'm going to do is to measure the remaining parts of my shoulder area like this. What I have is 5 inches. I'm going to mark the middle point which is 2.5 inches. And I'm going to connect from that middle point to meet my bust, sorry, my dart line like this. So guys, after doing that, the next thing I'll do is to take in another dart. Regardless of the darts that we have on the under bust point, I'm going to go out by half an inch. So I would advise that you go out by 0.75 um, inch on both sides of your pattern paper because I had to readjust mine. So instead of readjusting, just go out by 0.75 inches and then use your ruler to connect from that point to meet the base of the pattern paper. After doing that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and use my curved ruler to connect from the under bust point to meet the bust point. That is the one inch point that we have below the bust point. So in case you don't understand what I'm saying, just look at what I'm doing. So 
so guys the next thing we are going to do is to tighten our over bust but before i do that i'm going to mark seven inches so it depends on how deep you want your neckline to be but i want to stop at seven inches so i'm going to go up from my chest line by one inch just like you see me doing you can do half an inch if you want i'm going to connect the points into a straight line so this line is my new chest line so before tightening my over bust i'm going to go ahead and readjust my dart so like i said before take 0.75 inches so i'm going to readjust mine i'll take 0.75 inches on the two sides of the dart and then i'll connect like this after doing that i'll readjust the upper parts of this dart just like i did before i'll use my curve ruler to connect to meet the one inch mark that we have below the bust point after doing that i'm going to mark that dart on the on that bust line and what i had was 0.5 5 inches so i'm going to divide the 0.5 inches on equally i'll be giving half an inch to the center front which is the side facing me and i'll be giving one inch to my side front which is the other side of the pattern paper i'll go ahead and indicate the half an inch and the one inch with the point so once you measure your dart whatever you have divide it on equally the bigger part of the measurement should go to the side front and the smaller part should go to the center front i don't know if you guys understand so after doing that i'm going to mark quarter inch which is half of half an inch this is to avoid any form of gaping after sewing so i will still go out from the half an inch by quarter inch on the center front and i'll go out by quarter inch also so from the one inch on the side front i will indicate that with a point after doing that i'll use my ruler to connect just like you see me doing so guys on my center front on the chest line not the new chest line on the old chest line i'm going to go inward by half an inch i will indicate that with a point and then i'm going to use my ruler to connect the half an inch line to make it visible like this after doing that i'll use my curve ruler to connect from the dart leg to meet that half an inch just like you see me doing from that point i also use my ruler to connect to meet the under bust line like this to get the other cup you first of all mark your bust circumference divided by four and on this armhole area you are going to mark that tiny line that we have there and you divide it into two equal halves. what i had was two inches half of it is one inch so i indicated that with a point on that point i went down by half an inch and i ruled a straight line across the half an inch so this is going to serve as our new armhole line so i'm going to use my ruler to connect from the dart leg to meet the new armhole so the straight line that i just ruled is my new armhole and i'll connect from that new arm o to meet my under bust point after doing that i'll go ahead and label my cup so i have the center front which is number one and the side front which is number two the next thing i'll do is to start placing my measurements on my chest line i'll take my bust circumference divided by two i'll replace the darts and then i'm going to add one and a half inch for stitching allowance on my under bust line i'm going to take my under bust circumference divided by four i also replace the dart of 1.5 inch and then i'll add 1.5 inch for my stitching allowance on my um top length which is the m line i'm going to take my hip circumference divided by four i'll replace the dart and then i'll add 1.5 inch for stitching allowance after doing that i'll go ahead and join all these dots together so after doing that i don't want my top to stop at the waistline which is 16 inches so i'm going to go down from my waistline by two inches after doing that i will increase the base of the top by two inches which is the allowance we already have on the base of this pattern paper and i'll use my ruler to connect in a slanted form like this so this is not a basque waistline just looks like a basque um, waistline i'm still going to readjust whenever i'm going to 
to cut on my fabric so pay close attention so you know where to cut so you don't mess up your pattern paper after doing that remember the length of our top was 19 inches and i added two extra inches to the front for the effect on the um, front so i'll go ahead and label my pattern paper i have my center front and my side front so we'll be using this front piece to cut out our back piece what i'm going to do is to join my center front and my side front that way i'm not going to take in my darts when i'm sewing i'm just going to cut out one piece okay so i'll use my masking tape to hold the center front and the side front down on this new pattern paper if you want to add a zipper to your top go ahead and take your zipper allowance so i'll be using one inch as my zipper allowance i'll indicate that and then i'll connect into a straight line so i'm going to bring my front pattern paper remember we increased the front by two inches we will not be needing this for the back the back is supposed to stop two inches below the waistline just like we marked on the front pattern paper earlier so i'm going to place the front um pattern paper on the back and i'm going to trace out the sides the neckline i also indicate where the um back pattern paper is supposed to stop which is two inches below my waistline so the back waistline that we have for the front we don't need it for the back so the back and waistline is just going to be straight so i'm going to indicate the two inches and then i'll go ahead and remove the front pattern paper so we'll not be needing that for the back so the back is very very easy after tracing out everything on the front i'll go ahead and remove the front piece and then i'll connect my waistline so the waist stopped at 18 inches which is two inches below our waistline so guys next thing i'll do is to adjust the back neckline i don't want it to be straight so i'll go down by 1.5 inch and then i'll use my ruler to connect to meet the other end like this after doing that i'll go ahead and cut after cutting this is what i have so if you don't want to add a zipper to your top there's no need to take any zipper allowance all you have to do is to reduce the back pattern paper by two inches just like you see me doing i'll connect into a straight line and then go ahead and cut out the two inches out i'll fold it in so that you guys will understand after doing that you are just going to create your loops so yeah guys that brings us to the end of this tutorial i hope it was helpful please don't forget to like this video leave your questions in the comment section and stay tuned for the sewing version of this tutorial thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one